So I've taken this uh, prism pole and I've just leaned it up against the wall. I released the bipod legs from the lower section and put it up on top. Tightened it to the device on top, uh, up onto the neck of the prism pole. Um, so it's got pressure against the wall. Then I've come over here and I've taken this prism pole and I leveled it up. So it's perfectly level. Um, I did that by moving the bottom of the pole over and out uh, until this bubble was perfectly level. And then I came over here and I'm gonna release this base here so it spins freely, that way it spins freely. So then I'm level here and I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees and it should stay within the bubble if it's accurate. So it's within the bubble there and then if, so that means when I take a measurement with my prism, um, no matter where I look at, it is going to be perfectly level. If it's not, then we need to adjust your prism level. Now, this is how to fix a level bubble that's uh, not measuring properly. So, first things first, um, these are the tools we're going to need. A two-foot level, a pair of scissors, uh, the Allen wrench that fits the head, and then a piece of rubber band. Um, cheap way to fix it. So, here we have put our bipod legs against the uh, wall and just lean it, rest it in there so you can see that clearly. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bottom three screws underneath. Uh, the equipment so we're gonna go ahead and turn these out as I drop them um, so we got all three of our screws out and then you usually take the Allen wrench and go ahead and tuck it up underneath and just give it a little push and then that will open up so from there um, we're gonna take a little tiny chunk of rubber band what we're looking for is is where the center part is there's like a little tiny divot in there you can kind of see that's all the size of rubber band we need. So we're gonna just cut a little tiny piece. And we're gonna set it down in there. And we just wanna make sure that it is centered like so. That way our screws are free. So then we're gonna take this and we're gonna eyeball where those three screws are. We're gonna set it down in like so. And then we'll take this guy here and put the screw in the bottom. And I just barely get it started. Um, you don't want to crank down on this at all. Go ahead. All right, so underneath here, we've just put in our three screws. They're still really loose, as you can see by the movement on it. Um, the bubble's not in there at all. Um, so what we're going to do then before we do anything, we're gonna come take this pole and we're gonna set it up against the wall like so. And then we're gonna tighten this until it tightens in there nice and firm, okay? Like so. Um, and then you can kind of eyeball where level is with it. Just kind of get it somewhat close. That's not really what's gonna um, fix this whole thing for us. We're gonna then uh, take this two foot level and we're gonna put it on the side and we are going to level the pole, which we did a pretty good job of guessing on that. That is good left to right. And then we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees from that last look and put the two foot level on there. And then we're gonna fix that as well. Okay, and then we're gonna double check this way again just to make sure we're starting off on the right foot. So we're gonna take it just a touch there, like so. And now that is in. So therefore, our bubble is loose, but that's all right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to release this neck so that it can sit freely and move around. Because really, no matter where I spin it at this point, it should be level anyways. So then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab my Allen wrench and I'm gonna tighten each one of these slowly but surely. So just turn them a couple, go to the next one, turn them a couple. If you go just nice and light, don't crank on it at all, you'll get to where they're slowly, they're tighter, and they'll start to get a little grip on them. When that happens, you wanna move really slow and bounce from one to the next to the next. So because the bubble is over here, I'm gonna to go to this back corner one, the back corner one over here, and I'm gonna tighten this one because it's a little teeter-totter. And you're just gonna slowly tighten that until it comes back towards center. 
and then from there, you're going to go to the other one that it goes to. So now we're back to the same one we started with in this particular case. Give it a little extra, come over here to this one, a little bit more, and now we're to the center one, so we're starting to get even in there. And we're waiting to just get a little extra tension on it. Which we're coming close. And I actually do prefer to do this on like a carpet surface so the tip doesn't slide on the, the hard surface. Um, it helps with the, uh, um, just keeping it nice and stable while I tighten it down. We're almost there. It's getting really tight now. So you don't want to ever over crank this. Um, you're just going to kind of do a little bit at a time on each one. Take it just a touch extra here because we're really starting to get to the point where it is locking into place. So now we're level here. Um, ideally, you could put your two foot level on during that process a few times, um, but what you care about is being able to rotate like so and make sure that you're level. So we're a touch out here, that means that we. Uh, may have been moving during the movement uh, of trying to tighten it down. So what I might do um, initially is go back to the two foot level and recheck this. So this says it's off just a touch. So dial it out like so. And then I'm gonna come over here to this side and do the same thing. And let me actually flip that up. And this one looks pretty good. So we had a little tiny bit of adjustment, which looks like that's what we had on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this thing a little tighten. To where it's level. And then we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees and see how it is. So now at this point, we want to tighten just a touch and tighten just a touch because the bubble's on the inside. So we're gonna go half of the distance of the air that's there. And we're gonna go ahead and just try and minimize that air. We don't wanna go to the full amount of air. We wanna just take it just a touch, um, like so. So then when we go ahead and rotate it back, we are half of that air. So now what we're gonna do is just dial it in just a touch. I'm just gonna move it in just a touch more, like so. And then I'm gonna take half of that air that's out right there. And now we're looking fairly good. Dial it back just a touch. And we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. Bubbles just a touch more. And this is where it gets fine tuning because you really wanna make sure that once you take a measurement, it's the same on both sides. So a little adjustment and then slide it out just a touch. So, and now that's level and I'm gonna to rotate to the front. And we have just a touch more to do. So not a ton, but just a little. Okay, so we're level here. We'll rotate around. Now we're really close to being good. So I'm just gonna take it just half of that little bit more. 
Okay, fine tune adjustment on the bottom. And now we're level and we're gonna rotate 180 degrees and we're level.